guys! Happy Valentine's Day! So today I'm going to be making some dip dyed candles for on the table for Valentine's Day dinner. And I thought these would be fun to make and show y'all because you can make them in any color you want. So even if you're not going to use it for Valentine's Day, you can make spring colors when spring comes, Easter. You know, you can just have them all the time and it's just something that's nice at any time of the year. So I'm going to make those. And for this project, all I'm going to use is two white candles that I'm going to dip and two red candles that I'm going to use for the wax. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I have this pot and I'm going to heat it on some low heat. And then I'm going to break up my colored candles and just toss them into the pot and very slowly let them melt. I'm going to throw in these red candles and also the ends of my white candles because I cut them down. And I'm going to let it all melt and hopefully it will be a reddish or dark pink color, just a nice Valentine's Day kind of color. So here are all my candle pieces. They're going to melt slowly in this little pot. Um, the thing is, they're all still stuck together. Uh, the wick you will get out after it's melted, so don't worry about that. So this takes a little while. You just have to let it take its time so it doesn't um, melt too quickly because you want it to be all smooth and good for dipping. So. All right, after a little bit of time, all the candles should have melted and all that is left in here is the wicks. So I'm just going to pull these out with my knife. All right, and I'm going to stir this around really well. And then we're going to just, what I'm going to do is pull it off the heat for just a couple of minutes. So it can cool down a little bit and then after it's cooled down for like two or three minutes I will go ahead and dip my candles. Alright my wax has cooled for just a couple minutes so I'm going to go ahead and pour it into this um, coffee mug. That way I can dip my candle in deeper than I could in this pot. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that over and then I will show you how I dip them. Okay here is my mug full of hot wax and I'm going to go ahead and dip in my candles as far as I can. All right, so this is how I dip them. I kind of tip it so that I get as much, as deep a liquid as I can. And then I just dip my white candle in and I'm gonna turn it around and do this for about five or 10 seconds. And then I pull it out and I'm just going to hold it for a second so it can set just a little bit. And then I'm actually going to take my candle and set it right side up because I cut it so it's flat on the bottom so that it can continue cooling without dripping in different directions. And then I'm going to do that the same thing with my second candle. Okay, I poured my wax back into my pot where I'm going to keep it on the low heat just until I'm going to do my second dip. Meanwhile, this is what my candles are looking like. It's not as clear, but they're just a light pink color. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm going to dip it again to make it a little bit darker, but I'm going to dip it a little bit lower down the next time. So my first layer of wax has cooled, so I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process. And this time you can probably just dip it like this because you want to not go as far up the candle. Alright, now I'm going to do the third layer, which will be the last layer. 
And this I'm going to do even lower than the second layer. All right, I am using the rest of my candle wax to make a little candle. I have this glass candle holder from the dollar store and I just poured the rest of the hot wax in there and I have well here I have one I have several of my leftover wicks but I'm going to use one I'm going to twist it around a wooden spoon and dip it on into the candle all right just like this see it goes in there the top of my candle isn't perfect but this is just an extra project so that's all right so the wick is down in the candle and it comes out and wraps around the spoon so I can cut it off later. And here are my dip dyed candles. So this is what the final product looks like. I think these will be very cute for Valentine's Day table setting.